How's everyone doing? Thank you so much for tuning in to Ask the Philosopher. Now, of course, this is the show where I give you all of my opinion about love, uh, entertainment, money, and just life in general, okay? Now, before I get started, I would like to say I got a lot of respect for anybody who can get me to rock to their song. I'm not easy to please, man. I've been doing entertainment myself for about almost nine years straight. And I also just been involved with entertainment and the music industry for like my entire life. So, you know, you got to think, man, I'm I'm not easy to please on the ear. But whoever can catch my ear like that, man, I got a lot of respect for. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give up my respect first before I go on and on. <laughs> Uh, I got a lot of respect for Meek Mill, man. He made he made um, from intro to levels to he got a song with Game, and then he got a song with Drake, which is called Amen. Now all those songs I can rock to. However, speaking of him and Drake, first I'm gonna tell you how I feel about Meek, and I'm gonna tell you how I feel about Drake. All right, first of all, I think man, Meek Mill is a snake though, like. I respect his music, them, them songs that he made, but he is a snake. Like, seriously, I would never hang with a guy like Meek Mill. Let me tell you why. He took Nikki from Safari. How you taking pictures with somebody and then you take their woman? Like, that's messed up, man. And not only that, shoot, I, if anybody was going to get Nikki, I, I thought it should have been me. <laughs> but anyways, um, then he took a song from a teenager, allegedly. Like, how do you take a song from a teenager and you're a grown man? Like, you should you should feel horrible about that. And it's alleged, but it's so close to being true. It's, like, ridiculous, okay? Now, this the song he supposed to took was this I Got the Juice, and he supposed to took I Got the Sauce by my little bro, Lil George. Come on now, Lil George, BMB. Follow him on all of the social media sites, man. He, he's a great humble young guy man and i think that he is definitely definitely a force to be reckoned with when it comes to this entertainment and music man. he's definitely somebody you can pay close attention to because the way he's moving is he has no choice but to go up okay now anyways like i said follow follow the little homie at Lil george bmb and that's on all the social media or whatever if you're looking for him you'll find him all right now and also but him taking shots at Drake. Like, how do you take shots at somebody who done music with you in the past on your new album as well? And you're going to play him like that? Man, that's out cold. I don't care what you heard or what you know about him. You never put somebody under the dirt like that if they did business with you on a real level, man. Like, that's out cold, bro. Like, I can't believe Mika's this type of person. Like, Seriously, from the songs I like about Meek to the actual person that he is, it's ridiculous, man. I had to unfollow him on Twitter because I couldn't deal with the type of person he really is. And I, that's just sad, man, but it's true. So, with that said, man, that's my spill on Meek. Now, let me talk about Drake. Drake always spit hot lines, man. He always speak the real truth, man. He always just speaks songs that are pretty much my... Uh, theme songs, man. I guess because me and Drake the same age, and he always speaking that, you know, he talked that he talked that that junk like you want to hear, man. So Drake is gonna always be like one of the top uh, in the game. You know what I mean? He's not in my top five, and I don't know if it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to replace my top five. But he, Drake is definitely up there, man. Drake is definitely doing big things, man. So big shout out to Drake. So I guess to end this, to sum it all up, man. What I'll say is. Be careful the type of people that you have around your business, around your mate, <laughs> and around just around period, man. Because somebody like Meek Mill, man, he's the type that will get you in a lot of trouble, man. And, you know, and that's just real talk. Real talk. <laughs> hey, I'm going to end it on that, man. It's flat out. This is how we're going to do it each and every day. At 10 p.m., man, ask the philosopher. <laughs> See you tomorrow.